What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. You're with me, and we're down in the dungeon today. I'm going to be showing you my dungeon, the new project I have. Like you guys can see this back here, right? Got lots to show you. I'm going to try and make this a short one, but I didn't do any videos of setting it all up, so we got a lot to go over. In the dungeon! <sighs> Man, almost fell over. Anyway. Let's get to it. Let's get to all the stuff. So, yeah. We'll start with this stuff here first. So these are just my shelves, you know. I'm a hoarder when it comes to aquarium supplies. If I find a deal, I'm getting it. So, but all the stuff that I get, I use. Basic, uh, you know, stuff. I've been seeing a couple people doing videos on what's in their reef closets and stuff, and I kind of like seeing what people have. So, I don't know, maybe you guys want to see what I have. Here's my UFO light that I'm not using right now at the moment because my tank is so new it's not able to actually grow Chado. Um, not a lot for it to eat, I guess you could say. Um, here's my like RO stuff, sponges, these pads which I love, um, PVC fittings, spare check valve, all kinds of stuff. Then over here, oh, look at this. I did get a bunch of stuff from TB Aquatics. I don't know if you guys got the email they were going out of business. Check it out. Brand new JBJ Auto Top Off. Five dollars. Five bucks. I got one there. I got one over there. I think I got three of them for five bucks. Or each. So that's crazy. Um, these glues, right? I got these glues for a dollar. I don't know what they go for retail, but this is the two ounce Coral Corifix glue. Two little fishies, I think it is. Got them for a buck each. I got all kinds of crazy stuff. These were two dollars for fifty of them. That's awesome. But oh, can never have too many of these, right? Two dollars. Awesome. Anyway, so that's that shelf. And then over here, the shelf's not fully loaded yet. I have so much stuff on the floor. Right below that is my um, quarantine tank. Obviously, it's empty because. I don't have any fish that I'm quarantining. Uh, some salt, and then uh, that's where my dog Waffles likes to hang out when I'm down here. That's, she loves that old blanket, and she loves that pillow, so that's her stuff. More shelves of stuff. More shelves. This is my display table. This is all the stuff that my daughter's made for me over the years. That's just some of the toys that she likes, but yeah, these are all the cool things that she's made for me. I think it's pretty awesome. You know, I'm going to show you this one. Look, she took this grasshopper. Look at this crazy stuff. Imagine if that was real life and that thing was flying around. What? Anyway. And then, you know, my table, a workbench where all the magic happens. Dude, look at that thing. What is that? It's glowing in the dark. I don't know if you guys have saw this. Somebody made this for me. How legit is this? This thing is awesome. Thanks again for that. Uh, some more spare parts. Oh, you know what? Ha! Huh. This is my old truck. That's how I used to roll. Hitting three wheel. Parked it in the doggy style position. Yeah, that was me back in the day. Hitting switches. Whatever. Uh, up top. Oh, you know what? Let me turn off these lights. So, my house is 100 years old. And the walls are all made of brick. And they're different colors. So, the DIY queen herself. My mom. I asked her to whip me up some curtains. It literally took her like five minutes. And uh, I'd rather stare at this than some gray concrete wall, right? I thought it was pretty, I went out and picked out some material. Pretty cool, I love it. Thanks, Ma. Um, so yeah, so I mounted a piece of wood here, screwed it into the floor joist, so it's super tough, ain't going anywhere. Took a surge protector, and I uh, wired up my T5 kit to go into these and then you know you got the wires look at look 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 at all how I'm holding the wires up everybody velcro with a screw through it velcro with a screw through it up oh, look see zip ties that was that was pre velcro right so you know and then actually I had a hundred foot cable and a 299 instead of buying you know plugs for everything this plug is just 299 and you just find some old wire and you're good so, um, found some angled aluminum uh, at Home Depot or Lowe's. Let me turn this off again. 
there we go. Home Depot or Lowe's is six feet long, so I cut it in four foot pieces and then I had two feet left over, which is perfect because my tank is four feet by two two feet. Um, simply just see if we can focus. I'm not gonna focus. Focus. Oh well. So I drilled it out, put a screw in, drilled it out, put a screw in. Super tight. It's awesome, it's strong as hell. It's holding the weight of the light and actually as I've been working on I've been putting stuff up here so I'm pushing on it and there's there's no play you know you got these metal chains that I can adjust to lower it and raise it it's a t uh, four bulb t5 fixture was not fun to wire um, and I love the reflectors on this it's making my corals grow like ridiculous wait till you see the update on uh, how everything's been going so yes I have a grow out tank uh, another DIY system I did here nothing fancy 40 uh, 40 breeder dollar per gallon sale I had a five dollar coupon came out to like 42 bucks after tax threw some baffles in there did my normal thing little bubble trap you know a little spot here to polish the water before it goes out which I recommend because if you do have any you know macroalgae that floats around this will catch every last bit of it um, DCS the JCOD DCS 5000 return pump, super quiet. Uh, another snag I got from TV Aquatics is the Bubble Magus G7 protein skimmer. I think it's rated for like 150 gallons heavy bio load. $310 retail, dude. I got it for $75. $75 bucks for a freaking skimmer. How sick is that? Um, and then, you know, it came, the tank itself came with the, the Durso method, which I hate. Um, but anyway, it came with it. That's how it was already drilled and everything. Got some rock chilling in here. I might as well show you guys the measurements of the sump in case you ever want to do a 40 breeder. So the first chamber, it's 11 inches high, 11 inches left to right. And, you know, the inside dimensions of a 40 breeder from Petco is 17 and 3 eighths heavy, really. Then the second chamber is 14 by 11 high by 17 front to back and I like to write how many gallons each section holds 14 gallons there and then this last one is that seven and a half 11 17 and it holds five gallons so oh look at that water levels perfect JBJ auto top off um, the tank itself and the sump hold 27 in the sump 50 in the display 77 gallons I'm good at math so this grow out tank is brought to you in part by Ocean Gallery. I don't know if you guys have seen my little store tour that I did there of their 1400 gallons of coral. Go check them out. I'm going to be doing two, part two and three next week. I'm actually going to be stopping by there Saturday. Uh, my daughter wants to get a gecko, so we're going to look at some stuff. So this is the deep blue 60 gallon frag tank, rimless legit looking tank man I'll tell you what if uh, if you guys want something like this for like your display tank I recommend it man you know it, it's awesome because you can view it from the top really nice and so legit you know it's four feet long two feet front to back and uh, 12 inches high so yeah so I'm gonna be growing some coral in here lots of coral uh, a whole lot of coral so stay tuned um, because November 1st this thing um, will have coral in it uh, definitely by November 15th so I'm shooting for November 1st I might not hit that mark but so stay tuned um, I know a couple people have been wondering what's been going down in the dungeon so yep oh, here's my auto top off uh, container so yeah thanks for watching everybody I hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for the uh, ridiculous amount of coral that I'm going to be throwing in here. So, peace.